Hey folks, Sam here with Sam Wood Outdoors. I know we haven't posted much lately, but been pretty busy. Uh, I'm out here in North Dakota, um, still working, and Corey has been declared an essential worker uh, back in Wisconsin. He hospitally works for us, so we've been pretty busy lately and pretty tied up doing what we do uh, for a real job. Um, but I talked to Corey, and I'm like, you know what? I got to release this one clip. Uh, it's going to piss some of you off. It's going to probably cause controversy, um, but it's pretty cool. I always get asked, does one of my pellet guns have enough power to kill a deer? And I always say, yeah. And uh, this video right here is going to prove it. So anyways, here's a little backstory. Went to Texas. Uh, we did some hunting. And uh, we didn't do a whole lot of killing. We did some hunting, but we didn't do a whole lot of killing. And the last day we were there, second to the last day, the, the, the rancher told me he had uh, some elk out there, and we hadn't seen them, um, but there was one that he has, he said is like a, a spike and a fork or whatever, and he said if we get a chance to take that out, go ahead, uh, and he'd give me a really good deal, and I'm thinking, hell, I, elk would about fill the freezer right about now, so if I get a chance, I'm taking him. <clears throat> so it was the last day, the last afternoon, we were heading out to the blind, and it's like two and a half mile drive through the property uh, on an on a access road for a power line. So we were driving back, and boom, there's them elk. They're underneath the uh, uh, some trees right alongside the road. So I quick, always got my noodle, threw that on the window, grabbed the gun, didn't even have time to uh, turn the camera on, just pulled up there. And uh, when he told me I could go ahead and shoot one of them elk, and we'd seen some oryx, and I was going to shoot an oryx if I seen one, but I was trying to figure out, I didn't, I, I kind of, like 80% sure I could kill him right between the eyes, so I really didn't want to take that shot. I figured I was going to get a sideways shot and take him, you know, right behind the eye, a little below the ear, and shoot that temple shot, and I was like 100% sure that would do it. But anyways, we came up on these elk, I pulled up, I got rested, solid rest, I shoot my gun thousands of times, I know exactly where it's hitting, I had 100% confidence that I could make this shot, and uh, I was getting ready to shoot, and the elk turned to walk away, and I was like, dude, behind the head, between the ears, this is a for sure deal, and I shot, and let me tell you, I was told you couldn't have killed it any faster with a 50 cal BMG. So here's the video. Got him. <laughs> Anchored him. <laughs> Well, I hope you all guys enjoyed that. I know some of you are going to uh, give me some shit for shooting out the window. But listen, it wasn't a hunt. I was filling my freezer. That's all it was. I got a screaming good deal. Uh, it was like 750 bucks for all of that meat. And I couldn't pass it up. And I love eating elk. So it is what it is. Leave a comment if you like. If it's negative, that's okay because I still get paid. And, you know, it still goes back to if you follow what I do and you don't like it, you're still a fan. So anyways, appreciate it. See you. Bye.